Hello everyone. Now in this lecture, I'll share with you about the area concept, but using double integral. As you have already used calculation of area using a definite integral, but if we want to use the double integral for calculation of area of any region in xy plane, then this formula will be used. dx dy integration over r is giving us an area. When you don't see any function, it means this double integral is representing area because dx dy is a elementary area of the small rectangle and when you integrate through in through x and y it is area of the whole region so let's use in one of the example uh, we want to find out the area of a region bounded by two curves one is x is equals to y square and another one is y is equals to x square both are parabola one is the right parabola x is equals to y square is the right parabola and y is equals to x square is the upward parabola so if i plot these parabolas like if i say what well, this is a parabola here and the this is y is equals to x square and the other one is x is equals to because we need a rough sketch so maybe i'm not able to draw it properly but we be we are more interested in the boundary information right so scale is not that important but the just uh, area means what kind of boundary we get that is important so this parabola was y is equals to this was y equals to x square this is upward and this is y equals x is equals to y square right this is x is equals to y square and this is y is equals to x square and these two parabolas are occupying the region is this region this is the region right this this is the region and we want to find out the area now uh, i want to share one thing more in the this series of area calculation using double integral we are again going to come across how to find the limits because ultimately double integration is to be used over here so the one more practice can be done with the help of this region and finding the limits so before i switch over to evaluation let us first find out the point of intersection this point is the point of intersection and this point is a point of intersection now for that what i can do if i put any one of them for example if i put x if this is equation one and this is equation two i can solve uh, by putting uh, here i can put y is equals to x square so i got x is equals to x square of square is x to the power 4 and when i put back this equation is x common x minus uh, not x minus here 1 minus x cube is equals to 0 so i got either x is equals to 0 so x cube is equals to 1 so this will give me this is one value of x and this is giving me one real root only because the other are imaginary so these two are the value of x since y uh, is equals to x square so when x is equals to 0 y is equals to 0 so 0 0 is the point and when x is equals to 1 y equals to um, 1 so i get 1 comma 1 so this is the point here 0 0 and this is 1 1 right so that part is done diagram and labeling is done next is to calculate the area now for area what is the formula area is equals to integration of double integration now uh, we have to figure out what is the limit so if I take in the y side, for example, I want to take a limit in the y direction. So I, I, I want to do here this one in a y side. So if I want to take limit of y, what will be the lower value? Now you observe that throughout this diagram, the lower limit between these two points, if I say these are the um, maximum value of x and this is the minimum value within this diagram, the y starts from the lower side is this parabola y is equals to x square so y is equals to x square is the lower limit and here what is y because y square is x so i got y equals to plus minus under root of x now this branch which is in the first quadrant is the positive square root of x and this lower branch is the negative square so since the positive branch is in my diagram side 
so it will be positive of x so that is the limit of x y here so first integration we are performing with respect to y right and then next step is integration with respect to x now for x what are the two lines within which this diagram is so lower value is if I see one two one stripe here so this is the maximum value of x this is the minimum value of so second limit is always the constant so 0 to 1 so in this way we can find out the area what I need to do is first integration of uh, y dy so 0 to 1 is constant integration of dy is y y is x square to under root of x dx it is equals to 0 to 1 upper limit is root of x lower limit is x square and then integration of x so here uh, now last turn integration with respect to x from 0 to 1 so first x under root of x means x to the power 1 by 2 so what is integration of x to the power 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 so it will be 3 by 2 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus integration of x square is x cube by 3 and here limit is from 0 to 1 and in this case what will be the answer this 3 by 2 becomes 2 by 3 and when I put 1 anything raised to the power 1 is 1 minus anything raised to the x to the power 1 to the power cube is 1 and 1 by 3 so answer is because lower limit is 0 here so I get 2 minus 1 so it is 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 is the answer for this area now if if uh, though I have taken a y limit here if any one of you want to go ahead with the x there is no uh, harm you can also take the limit in uh, other side like if, if you take limit in this side so what will be the lower limit lower limit will be in the x so it's a horizontal uh, reading so in that case the lower limit of x is y square and similarly x is equals to plus minus under root of y so that becomes the upper limit for x and the y will be having the constant limit between these two line from 0 to 1 so we can take read in both the way since we are having a two choices whatever choice is comfortable we apply that in this case both are having the same kind of scenario whether you do first with respect to x or with respect to y it hardly matter now let's take one more example of finding area of a region bounded by this x is equals to uh, y square is one parabola and uh, x plus y equals to 2 is a line x axis and I have already labeled uh, this three uh, re lines y, y is equals to 0 is a x axis y, x is equals to y square is this parabola and x plus y equals to 2 it cuts x axis at uh, 2 comma 0 and y axis at this is this is point 2 comma 0 and uh, here this is uh, 0 comma 0 is clear and uh, this is also one point so this is the region of my current question and uh, we have to find out what are the point of intersection because after that we will be able to take the limits so let me first find out the point of intersection of this this line and a parabola so line and a parabola I'll put one value substitution method I'll use if I put x is equals to y square in this equation I will get y square plus y is equals to 2 and this become a quadratic equation and in a quadratic equation I I can see very easily that what are the two numbers whose sum is 1 and product is minus 2 that, that is y plus 2 is one factor and y minus 1 is the another factor so I got this factor and uh, next is to find the roots so y is equals to minus 2 and 1 are the roots now since uh, the common point is of between parabola and line so I can find out the x value from this relation also so here when I put y is equals to minus 2 what will be the x value it will be 4 and when I put y is equals to 1 what will be the answer 1 so there are two points of intersection of line and parabola this is the 4 comma 
uh, minus 2 which is not in my discussion so I will not entertain this point is the point which we need in our diagram so, so this point is uh, four, 1 comma 1 so 1 comma 1 is this point 0 0 is this point and 2 comma 0 is this point now let's say uh, to find uh, area area we, we know that what is the area formula area is equals to double integration dx dy that is the area of the region but currently let's see what uh, area we are going to entertain means whether I am going to take a limit of x first or y let's see the diagram now here I want to share with you because we have gotten one question wherein this situation is coming up if I take a decision of going in, in the y direction first you can observe that here this is the re this this point from 1 1 this region is divided into two part right so it means I have to take one integration between y axis to parabola this is the first segment of the region and the second segment of the region is between y axis and the line so if I take limit of y first my equation is converted into my area is converted into two integrals and that I don't want why because when I am observing if I go ahead with the x side in x side the integration is to be done with one integral why because you can see very clearly that if the limit is to be taken in the x side keeping y constant what is happening that within these two constant value of y I my lower curve or you can say left curve in the x side is the same curve this one this is a parabola you must be observing from this boundary corner to this corner within the diagram the lower limit is the same and here the upper limit is also the same so we do not there is no splitting and segmentization of uh, in the x direction so the question can be done easily with the one integral so here uh, I'll prefer x first so integration is x lower limit is x from y square to upper limit is 2 minus y and that is with respect to x first and then integration is to be done from within what are the two constant value so minimum value of x is oh sorry minimum value of y is 0 and maximum value of y is 1 and that is with respect to y now let's do the evaluation part in the evaluation first is integration of dx is x from y square to 2 minus y dy on hold 0 to 1 so it will be 2 minus y upper limit minus lower limit is y square d of y now next step is the next integration this is for y so integration of 2 is 2y integration of y is y square by 2 integration of y square is y cube by 3 and limit is 0 to 1 so when I plug in the limit upper is 2 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 1 square is 1 1 by 2 1 cube is 1 1 by 3 so this is on the upper limit lower limit is 0 after simplification you are getting 2 uh, this will be minus 5 by 6 and the further further if you would say 12 minus 5 is 7 by 6 so that is the answer so I think uh, in this example we have noticed uh, that sometimes sometimes the the integration in one direction is more preferable as compared to the other direction so that was one of the case we have noticed and in this way if we face Furthermore, maybe sometimes the integration is more comfortable in the y side as compared to the x. So there are different types of integrals which we can come. So I hope you have understood. Thank you.